surface area of the portion of cylinder x square plus y square equal to 4y lying inside sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 16. Now equation of the sphere is given to us as x square plus y square plus z square equal to 16. Right? Because I need curly z over curly x and curly z over curly y in the formula for the surface area. So I have to differentiate this with respect to x first. So differentiating this with respect to x I get 2x plus this will be 0 and then because z is the function of x and y. So this is 2z curly z over curly x equal to 0. So from here I get curly z over curly x as negative x over z. So I get curly z over curly x as negative x over z. Similarly, curly z over curly y is negative y over z. And the required surface area is double integration over the region R. And the region R that is given to us as the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 4y right our region r is in the x y plane so this is equal to double integration over the region r this is our surface area s and i'm having curly z over curly x the square plus curly z over curly y square plus one and then square root dx dy so this is double integration over the region R. I'm having the value of curly Z over curly X as negative X by Z. Taking the square, I get X square over Z square. Similarly, second term become Y square over Z square plus 1 and the square root. DX dy. Taking the LCM under the square root. So this become double integration over R. This become x square plus y square plus z square over z square, right? And the square root. Square root of z square is simply z. So I'm just writing this as z. dx dy. And also I know that from the equation of sphere, x square plus y square plus z square is given to be as 16. So the square root of 16 is 4. So this is 4 over z dx dy. So this is equal to double integration over r. I need the value of z in the denominator. From where can I get the value of z? From the equation of cylinder or sphere? From the equation of the sphere. So z can be written as 16 minus x square plus y square under the root. To solve further, let's change these Cartesian coordinates into the polar coordinates. And on R, for the polar coordinates, the value of x is R cos theta and the value of y is R sin theta. And when you square them and add them, you get R square because cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So R square is there. And also using the equation of the cylinder that is given to us, x square plus y square equal to 4y, we get, just put the value of x square plus y square over here, I get 4y is equal to r square. And what is y for the polar coordinates? It is r sine theta. So putting y as r sine theta, this is equal to r square. 1r one one will get cancelled. So we get 4 sine of theta equal to r. So from here I can get the limits of r. That is, if I need to consider the surface area in the positive octant, then the limits for r will become from 0, from the origin 0 to 4 sine theta, right? And the limits for theta in the positive octant, we all know that, that is from 0 to pi by 2. Fine. Okay. So to change into the polar coordinates, we have to replace dx dy with r dr d theta. In polar coordinates, we write dx dy as r dr d theta. So I have written over here 
yes and by symmetry that s will be equal to the required surface area will be equal to four times the surface area in the positive octant because i'm having the equation of the cylinder and sphere and it is needed to find the surface area of the portion of cylinder lying inside the sphere right so we have to find out the surface area of the portion of cylinder and the equation of the cylinder is in x y right so by symmetry i get the required surface area as four times the surface area in the positive octant this is four times the surface area in the positive octant and what is the integrand i'm having four over square root of 16 minus this sum and i know that x square plus y square is r square for the polar coordinates so this is four over square root of 16 minus r square and then r dr d theta till now it's okay fine okay putting the limits of r as 0 to 4 sine theta and the limit of theta as 0 to pi by 2 <coughs> Okay, to solve this integration, I know that the differentiation of 16 minus r square with respect to r is equal to negative 2r dr. So, I'm already having r dr in the numerator. I need negative 2 in the numerator. So, shall I multiply and divide negative 2 to the numerator and the denominator? Yes. Okay, then I can simply integrate taking 16 minus r square square root in the numerator the power will become negative 1 by 2 and then minus 2 r dr d theta okay so this will be this is negative 2 and this is 4 that will become negative 8 from 0 to pi by 2 integrating this so i get 16 minus r square power 1 by 2 over 1, 2 and here I am having d theta, right? So this will become negative 16 now from 0 to pi by 2 and now what are the limits? That is from 0 to 4 sine of theta. Putting the upper limit first, this will become 16 minus, yes, this is 16 sine square theta taking 16 with square root outside i get inside 1 minus sine square theta that will give you cos square theta so because there is a square root so i get 4 cos theta right so this is 4 cos theta and then putting 0 over here I get this as 16 minus 0 square root that is 16 only and the square root of 16 is 4. So negative 4 d theta. Taking this 4 outside this is minus uh, okay 64 and now integrating this integrand with respect to theta I get what is the integration for cos theta? It is simply sine theta. So this is sine of theta. And for 1, I'm having theta, the integration. So this is from 0 to pi by 2. Putting the limits, I get sine of pi by 2 as 1 minus pi by 2. So this is equal to, this will become... 2 minus so this is equal to 32 into pi minus 2 as a required answer thank you